else. I've never did, done this one before. This has been going on for 10 years. This is the first time I've, I've ever done it. Um, I roughly know what it's like, but it, it changes every single year. So really just going in blind. Apparently there's 18 scare zones, over 100 actors. And yeah, that's basically all I know. So you can't film in the mazes, but I'm going to leave my review when I come out. <laughs> yeah, house apparently goes all the way well mostly through that and outside as well oh I didn't notice that like graveyard I'm undone <laughs> So I've just got back, didn't have time to do a outro for the um for the maze, but what I will say, I think that is the best um horror maze I've ever been to. Um it is an hour long and yes it does exactly what it says on the tin, eighteen scare zones. It's basically um horror IPs as well as like things from video games. They had things like um The Last of Us there, they had um Jason from the Jason from Friday Thirteenth. Um, yeah, I never, I never seen him film, so I had to think about what, what, what the actual um, what the actual film was called. But I know the character. Um, it had like things like um, zombie Vikings there, which is really cool. Um, zombie princesses, which again really good. It only had I think four scenes of um, zombie princesses, but it was like one whole um, scene. It was basically a rip off of the um, Disney. Um, princesses i think you had like ariel in there you had um a scene from frozen you've had alice in wonderland in there as well so yeah you, you had a you had a good good few um there was also obviously the clown maze so always good to have a clown maze in, in your haunt um let's see what else they had like a bar a farmyard scene but it's like all scarecrows and stuff which was interesting because I thought it'd be like more like people dressed up as animals and that. Like at the beginning there was like a Thanksgiving um section and um I don't know what film it was, but it was basically a, a um a room full of like white white robed figures. I'm not I think I, I don't know if that's insidious or what, I'm really not quite sure. But that was the first um room you go into. Like this one it, it's some of it is a ha is in the house. I'm pretty sure it's a quarter of it is in is in the house itself, and the rest of it is outside in like gazebo style tents. So they got a few a few sections in in tents as well. Like it, it, some of it was like, oh, you have to like duck under things. You have to like slide through things. You have to crawl as well, especially in the in the clown maze. Um, there was a section where you had to basically crawl through a funhouse section, which was all like spongy floors. And you have to like slide down into this ball pit, which is really fun. <laughs> you like wade through this this ball pit pit for the other side to get to get out out of the rest of the maze. That was a really unique feature, and I don't think I've seen that done in, in a maze before. So yeah, it was really good. I I really enjoyed that. The only problem is um. They had Art the Clown there, but when you finish, he comes out when you finish the maze. Um, he comes out. He comes out on a um on on a on a, on a motorbike. Which it is a shame that he wasn't part of the maze experience as you go through there because he would have been a really cool character to have in there. But it doesn't really matter because like the rest of the maze was was re really really good. Um, yes, you do get touched you do get grabbed you do get your legs grabbed you do get choked out so um yeah um there was a section on the last of us bit um where I, someone grabbed my um shoulders from behind even though like they, they was like above the um above the section so they was grabbing from above so like, holding me in place and like 
when they allowed me to get free, they basically h held my neck up as they were like trying to like pull me through the ceiling. That was <laughs> that was actually quite quite funny. It's like this is I think this is the, the um only maze that the actors are allowed to touch you, and they do say that when you go through into the um into the first section before the maze starts. They they'll give you the lowdown on like what what will happen. Um, they'll say right this maze will be f full contact maze. So you you get you get the lowdown before you go into the maze. But it's on the website as well. So I'm pretty sure if you do this, then obviously read the website and it'll tell you exactly what it's all about. So um, so yeah, I think that'll be it for today's video. I'm gonna get this up for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'll be at another horror event, Nightmare on the Priory Hotel, um, or house. It, it's a new one, apparently it's under new management, so it's the first time under new management. Um, it's in Hitchin, I'm not quite sure what to expect, because obviously there's no videos, there's been no, like, information out of it before, so this will be a new experience for me. I don't think you can film in the maze, so I'll probably just give a vlog um there and after the maze so yeah anyway that's been it for today's video and i'll see you guys next time